So the three best exercises that I know for aiding chewing and being effective for chewing is one, check out the draw, the jaw rubbing video that I've previously done, because you want to make sure that the jaw is not, the jaw muscles are not so tight um, that you, because you've been clenching or grinding your teeth, that's not great for good chewing action of when you're, of your food. Um, the other two exercises are to do with the tongue. And although you're exercising your tongue um, at the front, you're also exercising right back into uh, the atta attachments at the back of your throat. And this is a great one to do as we age, because as we age, obviously your uh, throat starts to collapse in and, and you get a little bit flaccid really in that particular area and eating may be of an, of issue, an issue. So the first one, one we're going to do is we're going, you're going to take your tongue from behind your front teeth like that, and then you're going to slide it back across your upper um, jaw until you get to the soft palate, which is the bit right at the back. So it'll, your tongue will curl quite a bit. Now, when you've got it there, you're going to then push up into the roof of your mouth and hold that tension as much as you can. And at the same time, you're going to relax your jaw so that it actually comes down into a relaxed position. Don't force that part. Keep the keep it all nice and relaxed, and then, and think to yourself about relaxing the muscles, and keep the tension going up. So you've got jaw relaxing down, and you've got your tongue pushing up. So do that with me now. And you can breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. If you want to, you can add a ha ah feeling, uh, which enables you to relax the jaw a little bit more. And the last exercise for tongues is something that we do quite a bit in, in face yoga. Um, and that is to push your tongue out and down, so out and up. See if you can touch your the tip of your tongue with your nose. And then we tilt the head. So if I just explain one little caveat to this, that when you tilt your head back in face yoga, you need to make sure that your neck is nice and lengthened and you keep that lengthening in your neck and your shoulders down. So it's literally a tilt of the head on top of your neck, not right the way back, it's not a back bend. So nice lengthened neck, you're going to tilt the head and look up and then you're going to poke your tongue out and up to the ceiling, like this. And come back down. And there's some great exercises to do for improving your eating and particularly your chewing.